do this. Hello, hi, what's up? My name's Johan and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've heard you guys loud and clear. No more anime, no more cartoons for the time being. You guys want portraits and I am going to give that to you. You're welcome, baby girl. But here is the twist. I <laughs> I don't want to do this as me kind of just talking back on something I've done, kind of looking back on it anymore. Because I've done that for Lupita and I did that for Ariana and I like those videos, don't get me wrong, but I feel like they don't give you that like, you're just chilling with your artist friend vibe that I'm kind of trying to go for because I don't want to come across as an art teacher. That's, that's not my gig. I don't know anything. I, I just paint. With all that being said, basically the inspiration for this project came from when I was kicking with my roommate Susan and it was the wee hours of the morn and for some reason, I don't know why, inspiration just struck me then and I was like, I need to like draw. So I started drawing and sketching and I was trying to think about what was it about the Ariana Grande piece that I did that I really, really liked because something about it just I really vibe with. I realized I think it's because with the realism of her on this kind of baby pink background, it really, really looked like to me like a collage. You know, when you used to like cut out things from magazines and then put it onto like um, card, cardboard, card, card, stock construction paper. I thought it kind of looked like that and I was like, that's pretty, that's pretty neat. Neat. That's the word I chose, huh? And I was like, well, what can I do with this that would be really interesting? And I do a lot of pop art in my free time and for commissions. So I was like, what if I fully lean into this and do a pop art background with a full portrait on top? And I was like, that could be fun. So I came up with this. So this is kind of what I came up with. It's kind of like a space moment in the background and then this figure on top like this. And I want this to be big. I want it to be three foot by three foot. I want the, the portrait part to look basically life-size. Who's going to be my model? I know that's what you guys are wondering. Miss Dua Lipa. I'm obsessed with Dua Lipa. She's talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing. But yeah, so that's basically the idea of it. And I'm gonna show you guys the Photoshopped version of it that I just came up with, so. Come on. Okay, so this is like the photoshopped version of it. So this is kind of my idea of what we're gonna be going for. Since I'm gonna be doing the charcoal method for this one, I wanna show you guys how you can print it out to be the same size as a canvas. So if I click new and I'm in Adobe Illustrator and come over here, I can input the exact inches size of the canvas and then if I press OK, just put a little shape on here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And then you're gonna save it as a PDF. We'll see. And then press save. Now when I open this up and I print it from the Adobe Acrobat Pro Viewer and I click poster like that, it will print it over a bunch of pages like this. And then it's just like a puzzle fitting it together. So I'm gonna print this out and we're gonna do some outlining.
I'm officially a YouTuber. I did a car transition. I'd like to thank the Academy. So basically the reason we're going on a little field trip is we are going to head out to Home Depot because I feel like for the pop art part of this painting, I could go with one of two methods. Definitely like a road diverged in a yellow wood situation. I could either go with heavy body acrylic paint or latex based paint. Heavy body acrylic paint is lovely and I, you know, it's great, but I feel like for literally like a hotel toothpaste tube amount of it, it costs like eight dollars whereas latex based paint typically costs like it's still expensive don't get me wrong but it's like 4.99 for like a jamba juice amount of it so yeah we're gonna definitely go with that let's just go see what home depot has to offer day and I have just, just, a, just a little bit of a paint haul for you guys. I was completely wrong. I thought that these paints were going to be $5 each. Girl, these were $3 each. I've been getting ripped off. Extreme couponing. You need a new castmate. Hi. Wait till you see the color. I have to show you them. Here are all the swatches of all of the colors that I got and they had such a wide selection. I was really shocked. And this is the money shot. Oh my God, look at how pretty they look. They look yummy or something like, I just wanted to dip my finger in there. No. <laughs> yeah, they're beautiful and I like kind of like sorbet, you know? But this is it after three coats. They're super matte and very pigmented, so I was happy. Okay, so now after our field trip and unboxing all of those beautiful paints, it's finally time to start painting. Sit back, relax, go grab a snack, and I'm gonna start working on the pop art side of things. I took a break from filming the other day because I tried filming and I was so sleep deprived that to be honest with you, I looked in the monitor and I was gray. I was the color gray and I was like, not gonna put that on the internet. So I took a break for a day. I'm feeling a lot more sleep, sleeped. I was, I was like thinking sleep deprived and then I was like, I don't feel that. So I was sleeped. I, I feel well rested, so I'm back at it and I tightened up a lot of the colors yesterday Just making sure that every shape was like uniform and had no like tone variations So now we're ready to move on to line work and I like to do a little hack for this Which I posted a video for basically you mix heavy body black acrylic paint with black India ink And it creates a very very good line work paint because it basically makes it more liquidy But it also is very very opaque. So let's get to it art side of things and I highly highly recommend the latex paint from Home Depot this is the kind that I got the person that was working at the paint shop told me that that kind has paint and primer all in one it's like that two-in-one shampoo and conditioner thing except for it actually works now it's time to move on to the portrait side of things and I don't know if I've mentioned this yet but the portrait I'm gonna be doing in oil paint because oil paint is the superior paint for portraits I'm obsessed with it I did recently this piece of Chadwick Boseman and my 
my life has completely changed. Something that I learned recently is that a lot of people when they're doing an oil painting do something called an underpainting, which I had never heard of before. It's basically, from what I understand, which is very, very little, a earth-toned sketch, essentially, of your painting in oil paint, but you like thin the oil paint out quite a lot, so it's kind of just like, you can just tell what the values of the painting are, where the darkest areas are and where the lightest areas are. So for this painting, I looked at Dua Lipa's skin and I saw that she had quite a pink complexion. So I'm going to be doing my underpainting with a kind of like pinky rose color. Let's just get to it. I will get my drink on tonight. I'm gonna get loose, get wild. If you're not in the mood right now, honey, don't kill my, my vibe. I will get my drink on tonight. I'm gonna get loose, get wild. If you're not in the mood right now, honey, don't kill my, my vibe. I'm gonna party until I drop. When I begin, I don't know how to stop. I can party on till the morning comes, till the sun goes up. We don't stop, no. I see you looking at me, but you don't stand a chance, you see. You don't know how to act. I'm looking for classic. Can you please say, I will get my drink on tonight. I'm gonna get loose, get wild. If you're not in the mood right now, honey, don't kill my. So I'm finally done with the underpainting and I'm super psyched about that. We are going to continue this process by now adding the colors on top. I wanted the outfit, but since I'm just gonna be covering it up anyways, I was like, no. So <laughs> we're gonna start working on the actual coloring of the painting now. Can't take my eyes off, can't take my eyes off, can't take my eyes off, can't take my eyes off. You got this motion, dance in slow motion. My eyes can't help looking at you right now. So much emotion, just pick your poison. Is every move you make even allowed? Can't get enough. I try my best to look away, but I can't stop. Am I a freak to you? I feel your body move my way, you're close enough So I say, can't take my eyes off you You're all I see, can't take my eyes off you You know what I mean, can't take my eyes off you You're all I see, can't take my eyes off you Take my eyes off you, yeah Can't take my eyes off, can't take my eyes off Just being me, 
Hi guys, I'm back for the reveal. I would love to pretend that the reason why my hair is a completely different cut style and color is because of the long passage of time about how much I've been working on this piece. But the reality of the situation is I think I just wanted to match the painting, which I recognize is weird. If I was Dua Lipa watching this video, I think 15 minutes ago I would have been weirded out, but maybe now I would have been like calling the authorities. But enough about me, you guys have been waiting 20 minutes now for this painting reveal, so here you go. video guys I can't believe I'm even saying that it's been like two months of working on this video and I have to say I hope you guys can feel it through the footage but this is my favorite video I've ever filmed this is my favorite thing I've ever edited it feels so fun and natural and I feel that way when I'm making it so if you guys like this style more than my like instructional stuff please let me know because I would love to make more videos like this and if you did or you didn't or you have feedback or whatever, just leave it in the comments down below. Before I go, here is my subscriber shout out. Awesome work, dude. Make sure to go follow him on Instagram if you're not fake. And make sure to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of stuff. That's about it for me. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for all the support that you've given to me. I feel very, very grateful. And as always, just go make shit.